Laura Ingram's here. She has been out there. You went to three different precincts yes. nearby, right, Laura? What did you see up there? I was at 36th, 39th, and 37th, and Nikki Haley won all of them by significant margins. So is in Des Moines, so Des Moines is kind of this area is kind of more upper crust, wealthier. Uh, it was interesting to talk to people, and I talked to the temporary caucus chair. They have a lot of party business to do tonight after the caucuses. But she said it was interesting because it was a big line to get in. And as they were processing people, they realized that approximately half of the people coming in were Democrats. So they had to go through the process, it's not a very long process, but of switching party registration for the night. And then they have to then switch back if they want to vote Democrat ultimately in the election. But about half of the caucus goers were Democrats. And it's kind of a social occasion. People come and they sit and they bring their kids. And we heard a number of speakers. But Nikki Haley did well in all of these precincts. But when you look at the numbers that are coming in so far, I think the storyline tonight is with all of the money, with all of the media support, with, with all of the huge blanketing of social media, the fact that Donald Trump did, uh, I mean, it looks like, and I know you guys are analyzing the numbers, exceedingly well is, is a moment for, I think, a lot of these candidates to decide what role they want to have in the Republican Party going forward. And I don't, I'm not here to tell anyone to drop out. I think that's the wrong thing to do. But at some point, you have to sort of ask yourself, is this a moment that Bush had with Reagan in 1980 where he had to kind of decide, like, we don't agree on most issues, but I want to have a future in this party, and I might even want to be on his ticket. What's my role in the future Republican Party? This is a populist party. There is no doubt about it after tonight, in my view. And we'll see what happens in New Hampshire. But there was a lot of money spent for Nikki Haley. She did, she did I guess, OK. But Donald Trump coming through this haze of you know, media coverage against him is pretty stunning. Yeah. And he is going to have the biggest spread for any Republican. I mean, this is unbelievable. And how many Dole. indictments? Right. I mean, this is like indictment after indictment after indictment. And the people are saying, we're not, we're, we're not complying. Well, the overwhelming number in our data says that they don't believe, they believe they're politically motivated. And also that they wanted to support someone who represented substantial change, overhaul change, some of them, in, you know, very big numbers. So I, I find that part of this analysis really interesting. Um, and I heard it a lot out on the campaign trail as well, people just saying, you know, we're tired of this. We want an overhaul. We're tired. It's a drain the swamp kind of mentality in Iowa right now. And people think that in many ways, when you, you talk to Republican voters, I had a chance to talk to a lot of them tonight. And, and, and the ones who were kind of just fed up with everything, they feel like in the last three years, they've walked through the fire. Martha, you and I were talking about this earlier. They feel like I'm getting hammered here. I'm getting hammered here. I'm getting hammered there. I don't know what my kids are going to do. They can't get a job or the job isn't what they want. And they're frustrated and they feel like, you know something? To them, it's kind of a protest vote. And they don't feel like people are listening to them on these big issues. And I think this, this, these results tonight should really be a moment of sobriety for the other Republicans to say, we might have our big disagreements, and really they could be personal and nasty. But if we want to have a role in this Republican Party, as Bush had to decide in 1980, and it ended up being an unbelievable role, I better really take a moment to think this through. Yeah. Are you I think suggesting that you think Nick, he, he should look at Nikki Haley? Because you're talking about how she's pulling in all these voters from the middle and Democrats. We know that suburban women are obviously a big factor in some of these swing states. Is that she, what you're saying? I, I'm saying that, that they should think to themselves, what's my future in the party? I'm, I'm not sure what makes sense for Trump. But if they want to have a future in the party, Will they be known as someone who helped Joe Biden win the nomination? If they're at the end of all of this, these other Republicans are known as candidates who helped Joe Biden win the nomination. There is no future in the party for them. Well, it's fascinating. And we'll see what the end number becomes as the night goes on. Lord, I have to thanks. go back to the hotel and watch you guys. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.